is off. Okay, I think we should be live. Let's see what the screen looks like. No Massachusetts or DC tax day, huh? All right, I see Stefan, Victoria, Mike, Pamela, Ambrose, Stefan Schober, Joaquin Moore, Florian, Bear in the Garden. It looks like Ron might be here as well, based on the hellos. Philip Reed, good morning. I hear helicopters. Apparently there was a fire at Waterside Plaza yesterday. I think it was yesterday, but I think it was like another e-bike fire. So there was a question yesterday if I will ever use e-bikes. I think the answer is going to be no. Mark, always with some interesting messages. Tippy toes through the tulips, yes. Chris Hickman, Vernon Dent, Mark Friedman, Elaine is here. Elaine. Good morning. Denise Giles, Ron. Taco Bell. And I think the Shake Shack Experimental Place is over there, the Innovation Kitchen. Whatever that means for them. Am I going to stick to the High Line today? I'm not sure. There's a fire engine. Rescue One. Do I go to uh, the High Line today? I don't know. Maybe. Do we bother? Naboul is here as well from southern France. South of France, whatever you want. Soho, south of Houston, you know? All right, sorry. I know I get on that every time. Like clockwork. Like the groundhog shadow. There I am. Allie's here. Boston Marathon today. On tax day, but not in, but Ambrose said not in Massachusetts, maybe not. Let's see. Sue Pitchford, Spencer, Le Lenny, <laughs> down under, up over. Hello. Nebra, good morning. So my toe actually kind of hurt this morning after yesterday. And I thought, you know, maybe, maybe I really didn't break it or something, but my sock snagged over it and that belt bent my toe passively. And now it's very painful, so I do think it really is broken. Oh well. I could walk again okay. This morning, after, uh... Yeah, anyway, I'm okay now. I think I'm fine. This is gonna take a little time. But it'll get there. There's not much you could do really for broken toes anyway. I guess the concern of it is if it's an intra-articular fracture, but... Whatever. <laughs> oh, it's a Patriots holiday in Massachusetts. They get an extra day. Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Ooh. Are we going to the High Line today? Let me know. Deborah, I think I'll be fine. As I mentioned, you know, it's not much to do for broken toes in the grand scheme of things, but... Oh, are schools on, off this week, too? I don't know. Do all schools have the same schedule nationally? Because I feel like winter break always varies. Um, so just, I, don't know if, I don't know if New York City's public schools have off this week. Maybe. Maybe not. Spring break. Whatever spring break is, that's kind of the next big one. And then, of course, it's summer. Gavin Joan, Cape Town. Hello. Mark Disc, glad you enjoyed the video yesterday. Yeah, I guess you could buddy tape them, but I don't know. Eleonora, hello. Gavin Hawthorne. Yeah, but that's how, that's about an average bone healing estimate if it really is a fractured toe, yep. It's fine. Five guys, burgers and fries. 
Well, let's not walk on Bleecker. I always somehow end up walking up on Bleecker Street. I'm gonna, let's go walk, walk a little more south before we go west. Oh, New York school, Public Schools this week, too? Lenny has kids on holiday as well. Down under. New Jersey school spring break is already over. New York City yet to go. Oh. So this week or not? Hmm. Yes, because you get symmetry, right, Ron? Can I explain marginal tax rates? What do you think this is? Walks on Wall Street? Get Tom in here. Good morning, Bagels and Walks, Sean. All I can tell you about taxes is just do them. What you should also do is, you know, double claim dependents. So you have a dependent and then somebody else claims the same dependent. I think that works out great because you save more money. There's no downside. Don't do that, please. Cars are not coming for us. A lot of kids around here. Going to ski. Hey, ski. Andy's Deli. TH, hello. Fred, hello. Eleonora Dobrewutner. Ah, Deborah is seeing spring break for NYC schools this week as well. That, uh, that should also make people happier in terms of traffic. Less traffic during school off week. But the students we saw going might be in pri private schools then. They tend to have their own schedules. Mark Cartwright, hello. Lionel, hello. Or that Ionel or Lionel. Hi. Thank you, Spencer. The children of Sue have returned to school. NYPD chopper, my area floor, it says, uh-oh. They're on to me again. Narelle, good morning. There's a lot of cars coming around here, huh? Teresa, hello. Grant enjoyed yesterday's stream as well. Glad you liked it. It was long. something up. Nope, that's not it. And that's way too far back. Hmm, let me check in. Let's check here. I'm just looking stuff up. With? Nope, that's not it. The main issue with, with the village is the, well, the West, West Village. The streets are just so narrow.
All right. Can I go more west yet? I don't know. Yeah, temperature is very nice today. It's supposed to get to near 80, I think. 79 or something like that. What else did I miss? I feel like I missed some things. Mark, you know, my toe, the only thing that hurt was a little bit was, was the toe, but it's okay. Jim Gritty, hello. Owen Meyer, hi. Romania's in the mid afternoon. Andre in Russia, hello. Robin B, good morning. Why tax day taxes are due today? And they will send Liam Neeson after you if you don't do that. Gerard, hello. Oh, Ron, you sent me the review of your Chitza? Okay, I'll take a look at it. How do you say, what's the proper way to pronounce that KFC chicken pizza? Ch Chitza? Chitza? Chizza? Temis, good morning. Missing emojis in TV chat. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if YouTube does some weird stuff. All right, I don't really know where I'll be crossing here. This road is still torn up. I think Sixth Avenue was uh, redone. Oh, it looks like the light is green for pedestrians to cross the corner, so I'll make my little oblique crossing. Carl Skis, good morning. Oh, am I not seeing Super Chats again? Yeah, I don't know, Super Stickers, they're not showing up again. I wonder if there's an issue with the, uh, with the server running the chat from the app that I use. But OM, with the 1540 yen super, super sticker. Thank you for that, OM. Very kind of you. Appreciate the support. And you're back in Tokyo from Singapore. Welcome home. And thank you for your support as always. Ambrose's tax man has a very particular set of skills. I don't have a jacket today. I wonder if that, that probably makes my whole necklace thing much more prominent. Cause like the, you know, if I have my black jacket on, it probably blends in more. Now it's probably quite visible. Ooh, the one in the US is different. Yours is like a Hawaiian toppings on a chicken filet. Ooh. Paris, good morning, Miss M. We're gonna end up in the Kips Bay region, but we are gonna go through the High Line, I think. Why not? It's a nice day. I think it'll be a nice walk through the High Line. $10 club, got it, thank you, OM. So $10 super chat. I'm in Tokyo, thank you. Are we on Gansevoort Street? So we go left here, then we head and head towards the uh, towards the High Line this way. I always forget there's a Herman Miller store here. The Eames chair is always right on display. I believe if you buy it directly from Herman Miller, that thing retails for like 5,000 bucks, if not more. I think this thing keeps lowering. Let me raise it a little bit. A little squeaky there. All right. The end's getting weaker, huh? I don't have too much to say about, you know, global economy. Just buy Nintendo stock. Switch Pro. Switch 2 is coming, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. 
Halil, hello. Taxi cab, hello. Taxi cab? Mm hmm. We know it. Bear in the garden didn't get a notification again. Yeah, nothing, nothing is ever consistent these days. Which is <laughs> pretty much how I function. Actually, I think I can help. This commuter's been asking for some insurance cards. I think I can actually get one, get them from the website. But also, they didn't they? Uh, I think. Does it access my benefits? Nope. Oh, where's my account login? Member services, maybe? Moko's here from Yokohama, hello. I like getting green and flowery fast. Oh, we went right through the meatpacking district just now, and now we're on the High Line. Elevated park, repurposed elevated railways, train tracks, which you could see the remnants of. I go through the website this way. Okay. Let's see if my password still works for this thing. It's nice to be hands free. But I apologize that I'm missing chat stuff. Ugh. They have to text me to verify things. plans maybe ID cards hold on we're getting somewhere That worked. That was 14th Street, by the way, on my right. All right. Oh, this is still closed. Okay, great. That works. Let me forward that. Great. Oh, 
Okay. Where's the chat? Did I breakfast? No, I don't normally breakfast. Nicholas, hello. America Wolofsky. Nicholas, uh, Trippin Music. Uh, okay, do we go back up here or go straight? And we could probably just go straight because we don't normally do that. Oh, they're putting up new art here. Hold on. We should take a look. Or it's a sponsored event or something. Single use. Oh, it's Kiehl's and Von Wong. Single use reflections. Benjamin Von Wong in partnership with Kiehl's. Is that? Yeah. It's yeah, not judgment. It's like. Hey, didn't I mention buddy taping? <laughs> Anthony Freeman, R.G. Jones, good morning, John MacGyver, good morning, I might as well also go back and like Oh wow, we should not have gone this way. What, this one little section is blocked off? Come on. Ben thought it was a junkyard, huh. What uh, gave you that impression? Justin's Journeys is here. That's still a random guy from the street, right? Pudwhacker, when you feel lonely, you like to fill your bathtub with tomato sauce and pretend you're a meatball. That reminds me, in elementary school, somebody put a note in one of the kids' cubbies. It just said, you're a meatball on it. And then, you know, he read it during quiet time, went to his cubby, found the note, and just screamed out, I'm a meatball? I still remember that. It wasn't me that was involved, but... Yes, I remember it. Add a little Parmesan, says Ron. Should, it's tastier. Cory Runo, Dobre Utra. Is it possible to find a job as a software developer in NYC for someone who is from Russia now? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think... I don't personally feel like the citizens of any country should be punished by the actions of their government. And I feel like software companies would be understanding as well. So it depends on what you do. And, and, and I don't know what the difficulty is in terms of getting visas, though. That's the only problem. That's my biggest concern for you. But I, I wish you best of luck in your endeavors. Exactly, Ali. That's Corey Runo. Might have mis misread your name. Yes. And <laughs> this is a random guy. I'm a politics? That was rather sudden. I'm surprised there are a lot of tri uh, tripods up here. A lot of times, parks get weird about that stuff. Did anybody Google that exposed? Okay, I have my phone. I'm going to look it up. I only have a clip subwoofer out there. Oh, they have a big projector. Wow. That's the only time they close their, uh, their curtains that exposed that NYC. I'm going to the website right now, by the way. Exposed.nyc.
It's a living experience. So it is like an art exhibit. They put themselves on display or something. Ripples in space-time is today. It's quiet on tax. Everyone do their taxes on time. Well, ours were in in February, so that's good. A oh, moon is here. Bob Doyle, Will. I've not been looking up, so I, I don't know if anything's been showing up in front of me. But I've been trying to avoid people while looking at my phone, just using my periphery. Yeah, I don't, they're not doing the art, art thing until later. It's 7 to 11 tonight. So if anybody is in the streaming world going to be here on the High Line, 7 to 11, they're going to do something on display from that apartment. Uh, 7 to 11 tonight. Mark making some, you might pass by it. Let's uh, save. Save. Okay. That should be done. All right. Good. Let me get back to the chat. I think I'm good now. Is that really true, Aren Paul? People in Atlanta had to go in person to verify their identity? That just seems so inefficient and just the kind of thing the government might do. Ask GPT, Justin Journeys. This is exactly why I have GPT here. I used to know it too, and I forgot because people haven't asked in a while, so I completely forgot. We need a thanks for nothing, stupid commuter. Nightbot message. Ugh. Step that up particularly loud. Piece of metal. Canal Fala Maria, hello. From Brazil. Welcome. I've seen the Smooth 5, I'm just on the DJI Pocket 3, which has, or Osmo Pocket 3, it's back, it's back in the name. It has a built-in gimbal. Wolfie's here from rehearsal. What, uh, what are you, are you singing? You're playing something? I might have missed this before. I should know better.
I was horse racing. Yeah, Ambrose said it. Yeah. There it is. It's the same thing, I think, with the Windy City, Chicago. It was just some newspaper article. And it, like, referenced one tornado and the uh, long-winded politicians. Man, the metal here is just... They need a better walkway. Like, nobody wants to bang out a, a drum beat when it's otherwise pretty quiet. And yeah, some sirens from the streets, but otherwise it's pretty quiet over here. It's also pretty odd. Oh, the, uh, it's, everything's really coming in. Like, the, the, the picture today is very nice. The buildings and the sky and all the reflection. Look, so with the sunlight. Pockets putting in work. Marcin wants hidden spots. We're kind of exposed up here. No hidden spots yet. Um, I do find some samurai swords in that window, though. That's their defense for if anybody jumps on the balcony from the high line, I guess. Ooh, concert band. Which uh, instrument? Doug, yep. Where's my lottery? That's in yards area. They'll be reopening the vessel soon. Well, let's see if there's any mesh up on there yet. They claim the upper levels will be meshed from the second level up. National Anime Day. Wonder if Anime NYC is gonna put any, any uh, information out on anything. National Glazed Spiral Ham Day, okay. National Laundry Day, we just did laundry yesterday. We missed it by one day. Probably gonna be a mad rush for laundry today then. Good thing. Take a wild cast, Jackie Robinson. 112 years since Titanic sank, ooh. We could have walked by the west side. I think the original landing spot of it's supposed to be there. Like by the Hudson, I mean. Okay, Doug, I believe in you. But please don't waste all your money on lottery tickets. Carl C. A lot of people are saying that. Kevin Park says National Coffee Farts Day is every day. That's true. I'm in agreement. Nathan Newman, good morning. ABX Girl, good morning. I don't see any mesh on the vessel yet. Jethro Middleton from South Africa, hello. Oh, uh, Wolfie's uh, baritone saxophone player. Nice. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, just walk by the shed. That thing is in its fully extended position. It can, it can retract back that way. But there's the vessel. I guess above the second floor, they're gonna be putting up mesh. Supposedly it'll open by the summer again. I don't know. It's not open yet. Not until they put the mesh up. The bottom's open again, I think, if you want to walk through and take photos, but that was kind of closed off for a while, too. I think. I don't know. <laughs> That's my usual answer for stuff. I think. I don't know. my get out of jail free card.
That's right, Moon. Just uh, just the potential for broken legs. I guess unless you go head first, you can still do quite a bit of damage. But it's not as guaranteed. We'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing. Oh man. I think they're supposed to let pedestrians go first. And the truck driver knew it. So he waved me through. It's nice. Yeah, it's just a series of balconies with stairs, right? Used to be a First Republic on that corner. On my left side. And now, nothing. All right, very bright. We're walking right into the sun. Maybe I should cross the street because we could probably get some extra blockage. Look, you see these A-B bike racks? There's no way to get through them now. They're just so tight you can't walk through. The rush hour everyone who works in the Hudson Yards area from Penn Station, Moynihan, go up this block. Let me, let me cross soon. Nope, the cars are coming now, can't cross. I wish when people walked, they would walk closer to the, like, you know, right up to the side, so that there's room to go around. If you walk it slower, that is, that makes sense. the vessel also when it opened. Back then you used to be able to get free tickets, revert, reserve yourself a spot. I don't know how they're going to do it now when it reopens. Just in case I'm kick ass about the downsides of living in NYC. I mean, housing and pricing of all that stuff, just cost of living is probably the biggest downside. I gotta go on the other side of the street, it's just too much sun. Yeah, Wolfie, I think I answered that question last time on the stream. I doubt I'll be able to, I'll be busy <laughs> that weekend. I'm not even gonna be in town. And otherwise, apart from the weekend, it's, uh, I don't know, it's hard for me to get away. Beeping or why? Here we go. We're at a B and H. Don't think they open yet. Maybe closer to ten, or do they open at nine? I don't know. Noah's here. There's tons of offices in, uh, in Hudson Yards, so it makes sense. But the sidewalk's pretty narrow for all the through traffic. Eh, I guess it's all serviceable. Premie's open again, or open now. This used to be just a bunch of empty space. It's not a parking lot, but good morning, Noah. Justine, hello. 
RJ's here, morning. Panda Gabs, hi. Have you all been hostile because of me streaming? Uh, maybe a while ago when I had my bigger setup. Somebody acted kind of funny in Chinatown, tried to chase me around. I don't know, it was weird. They were just disturbed. Another time somebody in the square came up and thought I was filming directly at them and I was just taking a pause and just not walking anywhere for a minute. But that was fine. But that was a question from Justin Case on Kick. Michael Scott Howard, hello. Right by Moynihan Train Hall on my right, a lot of which is rented out by Facebook. I don't know if any other companies renting out any more space apart from like, you know, the stores and the shops inside. And of course, Madison Square Garden is right across the street on my right with the rest of Penn Station under it. BNH opens a 10, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, the guy that yelled at me a few months ago? Yeah, well, <laughs> that was partly my fault. It was a lesson to not engage anybody in the street that's randomly yelling already. I mean, I already knew that, but for the stream, we learned another lesson. When was the chasing incident? Man, that's probably good uh, for the highlight reel. I think that was, must have been like 2022, it was a while ago now. But it was just me running around saying, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, I didn't want to get involved. Just de-escalate and move on, because you don't know. The lesson, the, you know, the, the rule to live by is never mess with somebody who has nothing to lose. That's it. Say oh, yes, that one, Allie. I got a talking to in Chinatown. Uh oh. I'm not sure if that's even one of the incidents I referenced or if that was something else. Is everyone just washing the truck? I hope they finish up the rest of this soon. They're, they're almost done, too. It's so close. It's so close here. Can I even go through here? Or is there gonna be. Is there going to be a way through? It's, it's worse again, actually. <sighs> Used to be a little clearer. But now, oh, because they're washing windows too. So they blocked off everything. I think it's a little hot for that. Check it, but maybe it's fashion that I just don't know. I'm fine on the subway. Everyone has their own feelings about it, but I feel fine. But I've always had a uh, Roberta's Pizza's opening as well, and Anita Gelato. Those tacos numero uno is already open. I've always been extra careful on the subways. Many years. I've never taken the path of being oblivious to my surroundings while walking or taking public transportation. It's just always how I've been. If you were thinking of the swearing guy? Yeah, that's the one. That was a fun time. Or not. See if I had to pepper spray someone back in 22. I thought I vaguely remember that too, yeah. I mean, the problem is with pepper spray too, if you have somebody that's like drugged out of their mind, it might not be effective too. I mean, it'll still most likely work. I'm just saying if you have somebody already crazy enough to uh, 
try to fight you. They might be on something. I'm having trouble navigating here. Maybe we'll back go, go back over to 35th Street soon. AK got chased by a troll YouTuber. Oh yeah, Carl3 or whatever his name is. Yeah, I think he's gotten to the point where he's tried to go to other... Like he's tried to cause trouble on like a podcast once and he got kicked off almost immediately. I think he's like done. He's probably gonna keep trying, but it's just pathetic at this point. I remember the CD guy, Ambrose. Yeah, you never. It's, it's better not to just mess with them because they. <laughs> some of them are quite vindictive and vengeful. And will go after you and find you somehow. There are a few walkers, Deborah. I don't know about the, the streamers. I, I guess, you know, that some, there could be the feeling of being more like a target than you already are by having a camera. So, I don't know. Could be that. Could just be less or interested in trying. Won't know until we take a proper survey, I guess. Hey, Crazy Disney Tanya's here, Orlando, Florida. And this is some Narcan spray. I mean, it's a nasal spray, right? But, you know, if you're, if you're drugged out of your mind on opioids, you're not amped up. It's the other way. So if you, you're never going to have to spray someone with Narcan that's running at you. Jeremy Blair, good morning. I don't eat breakfast on the weekdays usually. Just have a black coffee. What? I also, somebody remind me that Macy's has like a kids thing on the seventh floor. That might not be a bad place to go during inclement weather. Anyone know about it? Has Mark gone off his rocker again? Is there still graffiti on outside of subway cars? I think they tend to clean it up quicker now, but it does happen. Did he get chased by Ron? I don't know if I remember that. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, usually, I mean, because my, our commutes take us to places we have to go, you'll see some of the parts that maybe others don't show. Or at least I try to convince myself of that. Right, we're on. Go to Salon. Good morning. Ah, see, we got folks who watched two different live streamers, different parts, didn't even know we were connected in a way. See? It's always nice. Oh, this music. Don't get me music. I think we're okay. A walking man dude. Have they done anything with that? That was a combination of several live streamers doing some prankage. I feel like that hasn't had nothing's happened with that for a while. I, I had a really awkward time. Look, 
This is like an Amazon warehouse here that a lot of deliveries come out of, local deliveries. This used to be where all the same day or two hours or less deliveries happened from. But that service seems to be, for the most part, gone except for Amazon fresh orders. Yeah, it was an April Fool's Day, but they've, they've not brought it back for a while, I don't believe. Oh, space for lease. Does that mean somebody actually leased it if they're working on it? Or are they preparing it for leasage? Uh-oh, I think we can make this. All right, we made it. It's only for the people turning. Doug, you too. Good luck on the lottery. I think Seamus is coming back tonight. I want him to have his original theme back. It's a shame for pain. Yeah, crazy Disney lady Tanya will be going to Disney hopefully later today. And it will be live there for like almost usually go for like five, six hours. In a corn cup pipe, I have no idea what's going on. Time is it? 8.57 a.m. Nightbot also probably recently put it up there, but if you just joined, I'll give you a pass. <laughs> oh, they put scaffolding around here too. Is that a dog? Wow, that dog. That was, it sound like a real dog at first. That was being played off a speaker or something. This coffee place is always very intriguing. I wonder if they have like one of those 90 minute seating limits. A lot of places seem to implement those. They don't want people sticking around using a uh, coffee shop as their office the entire day. I think if you become a regular, they kind of probably give you a pass, especially if you keep buying stuff, but I don't know. Hobson Lopez, hello. Susie likes to watch people walk. I mean, gain analysis is a whole big thing. And you can learn a lot about any medical conditions they might have had. You know, foot drop, you can pretty easily spot. A hemiplegic gait is another easy one. And there's more complicated ones too, but a lot of them result from neuro neurologic issues. Central Park, Cherry Blossom, Central Park, Park Avenue, Cherry Blossom's coming in, look pretty nice. I think these are the later blooming ones. So that might mean Central Park, uh, west side of the reservoir, might look good this, uh, this, this Wednesday. This guy was pretty smart. I don't know. Oh well. Oh wow, has Gil Gilbert Godfrey died two, two years ago already? Wow. Noah saw three Jeeps. Holy Jeep. Rachel, hi. Christian Hansen. Good morning. Oh, one, might, one of them might have been a Land Rover. Looks good. Are they going to plant something? Yeah, they Man, I got a very New York voice. <laughs>
Christian's room about the Aflac duck. Let me help you. Aflac. Nah, good morning. Almost got me again. <laughs> oh, Aflac ended up being bad for Gilbert? Oh, wow. I gotta watch some documentaries about him. He also played uh, Iago in Aladdin, right? Oh, did they, Ali? I missed that. That's what happens when I watch all these things fast. Like, actually fast on double speed. I miss things. I mean, I don't know what you gotta do to sound like him, too, but it, it hurts my vocal cords if I try to do it. Greg from the Adirondacks, hello. Do I know anything about the side to side gate? Uh, um, I guess that's that could be something related to like a Trendelenburg gate. You can have a bilateral Trendelenburg gate, which looks very side to side. Like you really, because um, uh, I think the glute medius is weak, and you can you can walk pretty funny like that if you have, have it on both sides, so it's pretty rare to have that. The documentary Gilbert, highly recommended. I'll have to give that a watch. That, Wolfie, that was my actual walking speed. I, I lied about it being a time lapse. Kidding. But there could be other reasons for these things too, Victor. I don't know. I would have to like you know, take a look and see what somebody uh, is walking like. Now somebody told me that the ramen place was almost was open. I don't think it's open yet, Shuya. I still see tape over the open hours. Let me zoom in on that so I'm not gonna walk in front of it. Oh, uh, then it could be related to also just arthritis in the hips, too. If it's really bad. Jen Claus, good morning. Uh, if I walked just a little bit faster, I could have made it across that next light. Oh, well. <laughs> Wolfie actually did watch in real time. Yeah, the walking definitely slowed by the end of that uh, saunter, just because my legs... You have to see my shirt now. You like the, the color? coming. They might have your package. Excuse me. Uh, who's walking who? Who's walking who? I don't know. <laughs> Uh-oh, you're upset, Night Bob Chan. 
As Nightbot, Nightbot's just like Chris Jericho. You just made the list! Yeah, that wasn't even that bad. He just emphasized certain words. I think Ali's capital letters also count. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, Pete Davidson also jokes pretty hard about some, uh, some sensitive topics. But then again, he is pretty close to some of them on a personal level. Pete Davidson. And I gotta watch, uh... I gotta watch the full SNL with Ryan Gosling. Was it this weekend? Did he host again? This past Saturday? I don't know, if it's just one person waving people through on one side and you can't like, we can barely see that. It's kind of unsafe, I don't know. If they're waving people through on a, on a red light, but you can only see them standing in one little spot of the intersection. Ah, what do I know? Johnny, have a good one. And I saw, saw I saw the Beavis and Butthead uh, SNL skit, and it was it, it was too funny. I don't know. It was probably funnier when everyone started breaking at a character and just laughing. It was especially when um especially when Butthead showed up. Because <laughs> at first it was kind of subtle, you know. It was like people weren't sure about it yet because there was a guy that looked kind of like Beavis. And you just weren't sure that that was what they're actually going to be doing for the skit. But it was. It was very funny. I don't know. I highly recommend the SNL Beavis and Butthead skit. Sketch. Skit. Whatever. No more cars. I go. Stex liked that sketch, too. Yeah, it was really good. So funny. Dun 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 dun. Yum ba bum ba bum bum. Yum ba bum. Yeah, Keenan. Well, he's he's been on that show for like, I don't know, 25 years now or something. I've no, I don't know if I've ever seen him. Well, he's always got like a little grin on his face, right? But I think that's just his baseline. I've never seen him fall out, like break out of character and start like laughing. If I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's something that I missed, but it's been a while. Taxi cab always likes the H building. Yeah, he was on Keenan and Kel. Actually, was that the first show he did on? Or was he on All That also? Oh man, remember that show, All That? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that steam has a smell to it. Kind of smell like a sauna, actually. Oh, I think I have to cross the street this way to get across to the river. That wasn't safe. Yeah, I'm kind of upset they didn't have him change the cornholio either for the skit. That's in the halfway through, but that's all right. <laughs> Next time. GPT is always cutting off. October 11th, 1975. Oh, so next year is going to be a pretty big year for them, right? 50 year anniversary of SNL. That school on the corner of um, the Copper Buildings block is the River School. It's an elementary school, public school. It's supposed to have good ratings. Hole in the Wall, I believe, is an Australian-themed or something restaurant. I don't know if the owners are actually from Australia or well. Oh, what? Nope, we're good. 
green. Hmm. I guess we're going this way. Yep. Car Free Earth Day, April 20th. Let's see, that's next Saturday. Are they gonna have a ton of closed streets this coming Saturday to cars? I'll have to look into the actual uh, closures. Might be a fun stream thing to do. Victoria watched SNL from the beginning. Wow. There was a time when I preferred Matt TV because I loved Will Sasso. That's right, Wolfie. Hole in the wall. Look at it. I thought it was owned by Australians. Or other people in prison. I don't know. Something, something like that. <laughs> yeah, it was hole in the wall. Wow, oh, look at the sky today. The silhouette with the, of the buildings with the sun smashing directly into the camera. That's pretty cool. You are now watching Mad TV. Mad! Yeah, right, Vernon? Call the police! Stop. You are violating the law. Beep, 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 boop, boop, we are. Tomorrow's still going to be nice weather, and I think Wednesday through Friday, things get a little... A little worse with rain and lower temperatures back into the 40s. Thursday seems to be the worst of the days. Yeah, good morning. Uh, we've did the we've done the NYC ferry like once, maybe twice on a stream. There was one time we did it with Mrs. Commuter. It was kind of a chilly, windy day, so I went on top by myself. Uh, I think the waves are just uh, uh, from the boat activity. Anyway, I guess I should get to work. Last week showed me that if I really push it with no breaks or no distractions, I can get a lot of work done, but it wasn't worth it's not worth doing every time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it at a more normal pace today. I think. Uh, baby has been on a ferry at some point. Yes, we've definitely gone on one just to go across the Long Island City. That was pretty recent. Oh, so Sean Ferenas here. Hello. And thanks for coming back. Anyway, thanks everyone for joining our commute today. I appreciate you spending the time, hanging out. As always, Super Chat, Super Stickers, PayPal, Patreon membership, thank you. Very much appreciated. It's extra support. Just hanging out is enough, but I do appreciate the extra support. A lot. <laughs> I need to start a GoFundMe to buy a multi-million dollar apartment. I'm kidding. We're going to get there organically. One way or another. We will Casey Neistat that money. Just from effort. Maximum effort, as Dead, Deadpool says. Oh, I see, Wolfie. It's no Outback, but I guess it'll do. 
Thanks to the subscribers. Thanks to the non-subscribers as well, if you're listening. Think about subscribing if you're not already. And of course, thank you for your thumbs. I do love thumbs. I put them everywhere. No, 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 okay, everyone. Everyone, everyone, mind out of the gutter. I think Jeremy's just gonna keep saying like dumb things until either somebody acknowledges it, which I just did, so I, I guess I fell for the trap. Or you get banned, I don't know, one way or another. Like, it's in my name, right? The walking commuter. It's not, it's not lost. I knew that most of my walks are like work related. If I had work in the Bronx, I would have to walk there or find a way to walk there. Anyway. I did go there once, Wolfie, at Hole in the Wall. They have a good burger. Maybe you got banned already, Jen Klaus. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the chats are gone. Ah, uh, see, so you know, now, now everyone will show Jeremy what happens <laughs> when the trolls come out to play. Anyway. Plus, I visit my friend in the Bronx all the time. And I mean, not all the time. It's been, it's been a while since I just haven't had the chance to go out there. When I didn't have the kid, I went up there much more frequently. Uh, Ron, Ron taught him his lesson. <laughs> oh, well. I think the good thing about hiding people is that they don't know they're hidden. So we probably should just not have talked about it. And he just would have kept thought his messages are being visible by other people. Oh, well. Next time. I, I feel like that's, like, better for... Uh, it's nicer that way. It makes him go crazier. <laughs> like, why is everybody ignoring me? I have stupid messages to write that, that try to instigate nonsense. Worst nonsense in the commuter, usually nonsense says. Anyway, so I've gone, I've gone off. I've gone off again. What else is new? It's not tech this time. It's trolls. Tech trolls? Ooh, that'd be a cool name for a second channel. Tech trolls. Yeah, of course, Sally. That's why we should have, be able to have IP bands. Yeah, you can get around IP bands also with like VPNs and whatnot, but you know, not everyone's gonna go that far. Oh well, oh well. I wish Nightbot could do that. Because if anything, Nightbot should be able to cross check IPs, but I bet YouTube doesn't give access to the API to let you see the IP address of a chatter. I, I imagine that's a uh, privacy thing. What do I know? Nothing. <laughs> Where did I end up? Did I thank the mods yet? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Thanks to the mods. I hope so too, Mark Walrus. That's right. My nonsense is to prevail over all other nonsense. Anyway, thanks again, everyone. Have a great rest of Monday. I probably won't do another stream today. I know sometimes I do them on other uh, days later on. But yeah, Mondays are just too busy. I need to, I need to relax a little bit. I, I did a lot yesterday. I'm gonna just let my toe rest too and let my mind not crank it over time to uh, get things done super fast. But I'll be back on Wednesday morning for a commute to the Upper West Side. Hopefully we'll have newer cherry bro blossoms, the second wave to look at, at the west side of the reservoir. I don't know if anybody knows if those have started to really expose themselves to the people around there. You know, the language I use sometimes is, is questionable. I know that. Part of it's intentional. Part of it happens as I, as I do things. And then... And then I realize as I'm saying it, it's bad. I will force Gump across the whole thing. Anyway, have a great rest of Monday, Tuesday. I'll see you Wednesday morning. Hopefully we'll see some flowers... Until then, let's see if this is going to actually work without me having to... Nope, I have to reconnect my uh, OBS. Sometimes it stays connected, other times it, it, it craps out. <laughs>